to think of a company having ethics in business is to me the core most important value and principle that a company can have. The Ethics in Business Award for us is a standard of excellence. It was a wonderful validation of um, the work that we do. The Ethics in Business Award celebrates who we're becoming as we have the opportunity to ethically relate to our team, our customers, and the communities we serve. The award affirmed our efforts to be a truly values-based company. It recognizes not only what an organization does, but how it does it. You know, somebody told me one time, at the end of the day, always do the right thing. And it's the golden rule. It's how you treat other people and making sure you're always doing the right thing. But you've always got to test that boundary of ethics to make sure that you're, you're going in the right direction. Safe Place has always considered itself a very value-based ethical organization, but this award gave us the opportunity to really delve into that and to think about it and to um, have ethics become a part of the routine conversation. The award I received uh, meant a great deal to me. It was, it was um, humbling but also incredibly meaningful. And I think the biggest reason was the rigor and the scrutiny behind choosing the people that actually won the award. So being able to show that we have been through a very rigorous process, evaluated by community leaders, community volunteers, and that we have, again, this distinction that recognizes us, not for our attempts to do good, but for our commitment to the highest of ethical practices, again, builds the kind of trust in the community that it takes to, to, to accomplish our mission. I've never been in a situation where I saw CPAs being the brunt of jokes on late night TV. And at the same time, my father-in-law had just passed away. So when I surprisingly received the award and went up to the stage, I reflected on those events and just let everybody know that this was a significant time of my life and this was the most significant award that I'd ever received. The award affirmed our efforts to be a truly values-based company and focused, focused on the right things, doing the right things, acting with integrity and respect and serving our customers and our community with passion and commitment. It's when our own business ethical standards become forged with the phrase, as long as your business is in existence, you must live up to these business standards. Despite that being 10 years ago, it continues to be very important to us today. Those traits are literally in our mission statement today and our value statements today. Um, it was tremendously validating to know that the way we strive to do our work was recognized and um, validated by the community. It's not enough simply to have a good mission or to have good outcomes. It also matters how you achieve those results. We applaud the ethics and business mission to recognize and promote ethical practices in both the business and nonprofit arenas. Uh, after you have been uh, held out to be ethical, people expect that of you. Um, I like that. It's uh, almost competitive. Uh, if people uh, come to expect that of you, you have to perform that way every day. Winning this award tells us that we are living up to that standard and we're very honored to do that. Also, these 10 years of winners is our many friends, many clients, and we're honored to be part of that group. For any of the, the winners, this is a, a, a tremendous honor and one that uh, the winners are, are deservedly, uh, really deserve to win this award. Ethical practices are incorporated into our DNA at Impact Austin. Everything that we do, from evaluating the grants in a fair and transparent manner, to the way that we treat our volunteers, because every woman that you meet at Impact Austin, with the exception of our paid executive director, is a volunteer. Being recognized for an Ethics and Business Award is a great honor to Impact Austin. We want our members to be inspirational role models in the community. So being honored shows that um, we are successful in that area and our members are doing that. We have 125 women that sit on focus area committees that review the grants. So we are looking at the nonprofit's financials, doing site visits, but we're also providing training for our members to do that. So they walk away understanding more about their community and the nonprofits um, that they're in. 
you will have some women who um, have young children. They're working full time. They save all year long to write that check. You'll have some women who can write that check, no problem, and donate a lot of time on top of that. Each one of those women has an equal voice. They have one vote. We feel that having an equal voice in Impact Austin demonstrates fairness and respect for women and the wonderful things that they do in our community. Well, ethics for me um, starts with the golden rule. Um, here at Greenlights, we have a unique role in the community. We are in business as a nonprofit organization to strengthen other nonprofit organizations. And sometimes that requires that we have to get deep into the business of those organizations. And so we have to have a trusted advisor relationship with every nonprofit with whom we work. They have to know that when they share something with us about what's working well or what's not working well, that they can trust that we'll keep it confidential and that will keep their best interests at the top of mind. Um, I've been blessed to have given lots of opportunities to serve in this community and around the world. I'm involved in helping to start and lead an organization that works with orphans in Ethiopia. They're mostly caused by HIV AIDS. I can't think of a more desperate, hopeless situation than, than losing your parents. My greatest blessing in life is that I get to work on these issues all the time. I get to, to seek solutions for injustices here and across the world, vocationally and, and avocationally, and uh, I'm pretty fortunate to get to do that. Uh, that's very exciting. I'm glad to be nominated for Ethics and Business Award. That makes me feel like maybe we've done things right for the last 49 years. We'll be in business 50 years next year. So I think ethics is kind of hard to define. We um, get up every day and come to work and just do what we think is right. What's right for our employees, what's right for the community, what is right for, for our stores and as a business. Um, so we don't necessarily think, are we doing something that's, that's right or wrong? We just we just do what we know in our hearts is the right thing always for everybody. So one of the things that, that we do here that I just love is, is benefit the, the Starry organization. They are the emergency shelter when children are, are taken from their homes or are being placed into foster care where they go right away. And twice a year, we do a, a star sales in all of our stores and raise money for the, the Starry organization. We, we really do try to be community stores and neighborhood stores, and so we give back on the level of, um, we try to give to all the youth groups that ask us, which is pretty monumental. So we don't do a lot of great big large things, because if we did, one large thing would stop 10 baseball teams from having Wagabag on their back. I think being recognized for this award is a true honor and a gift to our company. Uh, ethics is not something that you try to make happen, it's something that you just demonstrate every day in your way of life. And that's what we've tried to do in building a company that can not only demonstrate ethics, but live ethics, and that's what we try to do. I see myself as a being a steward of what God has blessed us with. We made a commitment to our neighbors when we established a solid waste disposal and recycling and composting facility over 20 years ago to operate it in a certain manner. And I think our ethical position in the community and how we react to the stewardship over those things define us. So downwind of the landfill composting and recycling exists this ranch and this event facility that we've hosted uh, close to 2,000 events and helped raise about $20 million for nonprofit organization. It's an opportunity to show the community that you can have such a facility and such a practice of having events directly downwind of the landfill and at the same time show our neighbors our commitment and just one way to visibly show on a day-to-day -day basis that we're committed to keeping our word.